What's up, YouTube? What's up, Extreme Gains family? I'm Chuck, and this is Extreme Gains. I am not a financial advisor. Nothing I say is or ever will be financial advice. Please do not take it as such. Today is Sunday, January 23rd, 2022. This is the AMC Algo Exposed weekly uh, update prep video for the week ahead. Uh, tomorrow, we will be open live stream here, as always, for Market Open. Tomorrow, Monday, January 24th at 9 a.m. If you've never been a part of, come join. Uh, let's take a little bit of a dive here in just to refresh, recap AMC to look at where we ended the week last week. Uh, and then we'll take a look at the couple potential macro comparative fractals that I've been tracking uh, repeatedly here for you to see where possible moves uh, may indicate from both of those moving into tomorrow and beyond. So let's dig in. Uh, on your left is Friday trading day on the five minute time frame. Uh, we ended the day at $17.97 down point five five percent uh we had lots of volatility we did uh indeed fill the gap uh that needed to be filled we had a low of i believe 1622 yep 1622 was the low uh and then we went ahead and bounced out of that and uh ended up kind of going flat and dissolving into uh with a little downward movement into after hours um, again, we, we were talking about that in the macro scenario, I had it mapped out. We've talked about the gap fill repeatedly and how it may, uh, not only act as a magnet and pull it down to that area as it did, um, as well as act as a support for it. Uh, and it, and essentially did that as well. And we got that bounce and rip back up out of there, uh, to end the day, pretty much even Steven for the day. Uh, funny, I don't know if any of y'all recognize that movement or not, but real quick, just for shits and giggles, um, and you'll see this all over the chart. I've talked about this before. That was the uh, Friday five-minute chart. Come out to the four-hour. And if you take a look at this on the four hour chart, you can see where that movement comes from, right? Over and over and over. There it is. There it is. Right? Same thing. There's the four hour of the current macro fractal that we're in. That's the five minute laid over it, right? Just nonstop. So anyways, I uh, just thought you'd like to see that real quick. No biggie. Uh, I am, like I said, tracking a couple different snake head um, positions and uh, fractals on the micro to determine which one's macro. I have a little more digging to do to confirm uh, which one it is that we're following. I have a couple here that I've been looking at. So nonetheless, as soon as I get something like that and decide whether or not I'm putting that out, I will let you know. Uh, so other than that, moving on, let's move over to your right and look at the macro fractal, comparative fractals that I've been using uh, for this process. The first one being, we'll look at the uh, seven year to seven month fractal comparison. And that is taking this macro descending wedge that we were in from 2013 to the run up in January of 2021 and its location relative to this last descending wedge on the interior of that macro and the movements within. If that were to completely replicate itself uh, in this way, it would indicate a bearish move uh, and continuation to the downside as I believe we're replicating in a compressed version of that macro descending wedge. Uh, in the form of something like this. And if we use this comparative fractal there, right? This one here, this exact 
uh, comparative macro fractal and transpose it onto the compressed version there, taking into consideration uh, a comparative volume analysis between these candles here and these candles here and the movements, uh, it aligns itself as you can see. Okay, we've looked at it even closer up, which I will now show you. Uh, we have also measured the distance between the downside move from the top of this box top to the bottom of this double double uh, in comparison to the one on your right that we're currently in. If it were to continue to fulfill this movement uh, to the downside and replicate this double double and we measured the the I guess descent percentage from the top of this box top in relative and down here to the double double relative to this and there's a like a three percent difference uh, in the percentage movement if this were to continue to play itself out down to this level um, so again just something else to think about and look at nonetheless that's what that looks like side by side that would be the bearish scenario from a comparative macro fractal I'll take you inside here and we'll take a look. This is also uh, on the daily uh, as well. So that's what it looks like. It does indicate to me that when looking at it like this, even if I were to squeeze that in, it looks like the next macro movement would be, the overall macro movement would be to the upside. Now whether, again, I say this all the time about having a generalized perspective of the uh, movements, you know, right? having a macro perspective of everything and not so much zeroed in on the little micro movements prior to, right? The macro movement, because I'm looking at a macro fractal, indicates in this position, right, a little bit of volatility here, but nonetheless, the next macro movement would be to get back up above, which we are now, uh, and, 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 try to retest that level and probably maybe even retest the uh at one time the megaphone support as a resistance uh somewhere in that generalized area is kind of what i'm looking at you know again the positioning of these when you're doing the comparatives uh from the bars chart to keep them in perspective without uh, too much manipulation to confirm bias uh, is something that i try to do so again a little bit of different positioning can indicate different things but nonetheless that's pretty much how i see this uh right now so as far as a, a a macro right we'd be looking at maybe what one day up two days down second day down uh third and fourth and fifth day potentially up so if that were the case on the daily chart when using it in that position again those can change from one day to another but uh, depending on the position of this macro if I'm using it for projection purposes. But to give you a general sense of what that looks like, there it is. Now, the potential bullish move, right? Obviously, that's a bullish move, but after a bearish initial, right? This one here is more or less a uh, bullish direct, I guess you could say. Uh, this comes from this fractal here i put out a video a while back when i went through all of these time blocks and equally divided uh time frames throughout this macro fractal and their significance what happens on the inside of them what the separating vertically separated uh lines mean and how they separate those time blocks please go watch that for context however uh, it created what I've coined as big brother, little brother fractals. I've explained that repeatedly in all the videos. I know most of you know what that is. If Again, if this is one of the first videos of mine that you're watching, uh, please go back and check those out for context. They really will put things into perspective for you. Uh, but here you go. If, that would be pulling this fractal here as comparative, right? We had big brother up here, little brother right here, same movement. Same thing here, big brother up here, little brother down here, same movement, and they're going to be in an alternating fashion replicating the one previous to it, right? Which is what this would indicate. Let me see if I can get this positioned for you uh, correctly. And uh, 
There it is. Something like that. Right? If this was replicate, let me give you the, uh, the macro perspective of that. Okay? That would be if we bounce right here and I align that, obviously aligning the top with it as well. And we take a look at that. So here you go with that. That would indicate uh, I, I in this position, again, these things can move a little bit left, a little bit right, and it changes things, right? Um, so keep that in mind when, when looking at these and when reviewing them and when I'm reviewing them. Uh, that's why I don't really allow myself to make projections in the micro based off of these, rather the the macro broader perspective of all of this. And I don't know that I'm ever going to stop repeating that because it seems like at some times I just can't get it through to people. I know you all want projections and predictions. Uh, it's not what I do. So anyways, here you go. That's what that looks like. Potentially uh, continuation to the upside. Again, a rejection off of the... Uh, the megaphone support and um, which now would be resistance back down to the gap fill area to make the left side portion of the double right and then the other right side portion of the double before eventually uh, creating that grind up uh, movement to the next box top so again that's how that macro would look and play out there those are the two and the only two right now from a macro perspective that I'm following, uh, that I'm tracking, and for the reasons that I've just explained, I've given you video reference to go back and check that out if that's something that you want to check out uh, with the big brother, little brother, and those segmented off time frames. Uh, again, I'm working on some behind the scenes stuff when it comes to the snake algo, uh, if and when with the uh, Discord members, the private Discord members, if that's something that I and we decide and or come up with and decide that uh, something that needs to be uh, broadcasted on this channel uh, at that point we will do so right now we're not quite there and sold on uh, any of them specifically right now to make any kind of move like that uh, publicly here on the YouTube channel but uh, outside of what we've all looked at and have been looking at together and tracking together for quite some time now uh, that continue to uh, track themselves right we did eliminate one at, at the moment uh, from last week and right now that's what we're looking at this bullish one if you will uh, and the other bearish first then bullish okay that is what I got for AMC uh, we I, I, I go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and give you this real quick and show you again sorry I stumbled over myself there for a minute uh, let you see this real fast one more time this is spy this is something that Again, we've been tracking for quite a long time uh, that I've been calling out and talking about. Uh, this is the blue transposed is the SPY 0809 chart uh, overlaid on top of the current SPY chart. And it has been following it. I put this on there back in December, uh, right around December 5th, right when I first started YouTubing. And it's been following it uh, pretty well. Again, we've talked about column left, column right, shifting this, depending on whether or not what this bounce looks like. And uh, there are some other variables that have been taken into consideration with this from previous market conditions and movements and potentially what this may look like uh, moving into this week. Obviously, this indicates a potential bounce, right? We're down here in correction territory on the W. Been talking about this for a while, calling for it for a while. Here we are. Uh, so I'm hoping to see that we did feel it was brought to my attention We have a gap right here that needed filled. We did fill that gap with this move down. I believe so uh, Right out of the gate, maybe a push down first thing in the morning depending on how things play out the rest of today into tomorrow morning with the market conditions and futures and whatnot, but uh, we'll take a look at that tomorrow morning uh, both in discord in the morning for y'all and uh, For when we first come on to the live stream here at 9 a.m. So that's kind of how that's tracking as well. Something we're keeping a super, super close eye on. Uh, if we get a continuation to the downside here, it may be something we need to look at, when, like we talked about, uh, shifting this entire uh, comparative frack. So that's SPY and, and how it may have an effect on AMC according to negative beta. We've discussed that in depth. You all know how that uh, could potentially play out and how I feel about that as well. So we'll just leave it at that. We'll dig into things more tomorrow morning. I want to make this a semi-short video 
15 minutes in. That's good enough. Just wanted to get a quick recap. Say hello. Hope you had a great weekend. I uh, hope you got to decompress and enjoy a little bit of it. Football is on. Enjoy that if you watch it. Uh, if not, I will see you all uh, tomorrow in the live stream. And I better, 9 a.m. right here or in the next video when I put it out tomorrow night for a review for the rest of y'all. Thank you guys. Enjoy the rest of your day today and time before we go into battle tomorrow. And I will talk to you all then. Later.